Welcome to Fat No Filter Mug Bangs. We fill your belly up. And leave you with some juice. Welcome back, baby loves. Welcome back. If you are new to our channel, please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you're updated when we update you. And if you are returning back, welcome back, baby loves. Y'all know we love you. I'm Deshaun. Talk today. And I'm Savia, Miss Kitty. And y'all already know, it's so much. Miss Kitty, yeah. what is going on? Like, we look different. We do. We, it's a lot of different things, but let's get into this meal first. Oh, yeah. And then I guess while we're eating, we can tell them. You know? Yes, yes. If you a true baby love, you already see, like, stuff is changing. Yes, it but is. it is Keetober. And... Oh, yeah, okay. She, girl, she been lit, y'all. <laughs> but... I decided to make something a little different. So we have some Keytober meatballs, mm. some cauliflower rice, mm. and some green bean bundles. Can y'all see? Can y'all see that? Y'all know yes. Miss Kitty love to eat. Mm, I do. This is my first time trying her, so I'm okay, so I'm excited. happy you are. Mm -hmm. So let let's show them this, y'all. Okay, y let's show. This is all keto. Before y'all even see it, baby. It's all keto. It's all keto. Mm. We know. Oh, it Ooh, smells delicious. It's meatballs and gravy. Can y'all see and that? And this gravy don't have no flour in it, but I promise you it's still thick. Thick, 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 I hit a rock. <laughs> I don't, I, you she know ain't more talk too much, but I still hit. Hey. Cause she a fool on that. Hey. Dick. <laughs> okay, okay, she was no copyright. Okay, that was our fun but, but today, y'all, I feel like she was channeling me because I don't even know that song. But Girl, she they was lit. Me. I just love when they. Oh. They, 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 I said we gotta do one. So we do. Man. Okay, y'all. My so let's let's pray yeah, so yeah. we can get into the, these okay. what you say oh pr let's get into this prayer so we can get into this box yes all it's, right it's her time so i'm glad she knows. it's not that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, i don't remember that yet, but you don't ever remember that's your problem <laughs> you by your baby head. loves by your head God, we want to thank you for allowing us to make it here safe and sound. You know, I always have to give a shout out to Traveling Grace. Thank you for allowing us to be able to financially be blessed to even prepare this food. Let this food be nourishing to our bodies, God. Continue to keep watching over us and praying for us. In your name we pray. I think he got to pray for us too. I just broke the heart on something, girl. I don't know what just happened. Some bit, some bit, Oh, some bit, you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm over just a scratch, and I might be hungry. Yes. It might be that hunger scratch. <laughs> All right. Mm. Mm. Y'all, this just seems so new and different. Oh, y'all, this cauliflower rice. Would you like some? I would love some, so. Give you a nice little bed. Thank you feel you. like you have meat and gravy. That's what I was going for. Because, you know, when you're eating healthy, make you, mm -hmm. you don't feel like you're getting the stuff that you would normally like to eat. And I know y'all like stuff that's smuggled. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Got me a nice little bed of cauliflower. Sorry, y'all. It smells and looks delicious. Oh, thank you. You are more than welcome, my darling. Yes, y'all can't wait for these. Okay. Yeah, she coated those perfect. Mm. I don't know if you can really see it. Yes. She coated this. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I got you. Oh, thank you, sis. I think I'm going to start off with, with three. <laughs> y'all, that just being so greedy, ain't it? And I just want to put me a little gravy on yes. my uh. Mm, put your little gravy on that rice. Uh -huh. That's, That's what I was going for. Oh, Let me help you all now. You got it. You got it. Huh? I feel like we should live. We are. Okay. 
I'm going to put mm -hmm. mine right on top. And yeah, I, I think I'm going to start with that. three, two. See that? Here you go. Here you go. Oh, is that not? Y'all, before she start eating, I'm gonna pass her her good old H2O. Yes, I'm gonna try that. Yes, oh, yes, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna pass her the Thank you. Ooh, I think I gotta, I gotta have some of this first, y'all. Oh, it yeah. look like, yeah, y'all, just some good old H2O. I love me some rice. Anybody who know me know I love me some rice. <laughs> rice and pork chops. Mm -hmm. Love me some rice and meat, but like, yeah. And I like breakfast rice, so that means that I like a little sugar in my rice. Me Anytime too. I eat it. Me too, and I like mushy. Okay. Mm -hmm. How it works. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, I know people have always talked about cauliflower, but ever since I made that cauliflower mac and cheese, like, I'm kind of, I kind of feel like cauliflower is what you make it, what you season it. Yeah, because cauliflower don't have a taste. Mm -mm. Now, girl, I was, you know, that was my best friend, that and broccoli, when I don't want to eat them. Yeah. Girl, you know, cauliflower and uh, uh, um, tater tots. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, that was good. You like do a little, mix it with a little cheese, so you have like cheese kind of tater tots. Yeah, I have run. Like, I like I like cauliflower. I would eat it on a regular. Right. Mm -hmm. It sounds good to have. Yeah, because as long as you can season real good, like, you good. I just, um, the meatballs are good. Okay, Keith Hober. Mm hmm. Okay. 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 And every uh, keto gravy recipe that I seen y'all, like, it used like a, a thickener substitute, but we use cream cheese to thicken this thing up. Mmm, mm. cream cheese in your gravy, no. baby. It tastes good. Mmm. Good. I don't think y'all see that. That's a big meatball. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes too good to feel like it's supposed to be healthy. That gravy for sure. Mm -hmm. That gravy is kind of simple. <laughs> yeah. That gravy is really the great touch. And I'm used to doing the flour gravy, but I actually kind of like that. I like that. I like that too. Time. 
So, Dave, since you've been married, I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. What would you do if you found out that your husband had went and purchased his mom a house with y'all savings and he didn't tell you and you just found out because you were, you know, I feel like women, we do checks and balances. And then when you asked him, he told you that you're not, you know, he's the king and the king, you know, as the king, he makes, you know, he makes a decision and you're supposed to follow his lead. How would you feel about that? I couldn't wait to answer that. Oh, I couldn't wait, y'all. I could not wait. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> How would y'all feel like she thundering on Yeah, okay. I've been called already, you know. Yes. It, it's like it's a tough one, but it ain't a tough one. Mm -hmm. Because I just feel like that's not supposed to be my husband. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just don't feel like, 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 not to put it out like that, I mean, but. I'm number one. I'm supposed to be number one. So my thing is, is, if you didn't even have the common courtesy to talk to me about it, but half of my money went into it, I'm going to need to be on your mama's... Um, yeah, I need to be on the deed, on the title, on the... But no. Mm -mm. And then you come tell me some shit about some king something, you about to get slapped. It is, yeah, but I ain't nah. never heard they want to talk about violence. No, nah, I'm not on promote it, but that's one of them moments. Don't come talking si silly. <laughs> Look, y'all, when I read the it took uh -uh. me. What you Because I don't think that's supposed to be my husband. You go by your mama. Yeah. I feel like it's always a struggle. Well, not always. I feel like a lot of times. Black people have a black women have a struggle with their in laws because oh. I guess we kind of forget that once you once you're married, it's about the family that you're making mm -hmm. and not the one you came from. Mm -hmm. Like true, you are supposed to be number one, mm -hmm. but everybody can't. You know, some people feel like their mama's supposed to be number yeah. one, and I feel like if you feel like your mama number one. That's when you make a decision like that yeah. and you don't even include, you don't even think to include your wife. Yeah. And then when she finds out, you hit her with biblical. Well, if you want to go biblical, biblical says that you leave mm -hmm. the like, family yeah. that created you. You go, you go to the family that you created. Yep. So you roll yeah. on that part. Yeah. But you know what? It always come back to them, to one of those things I like to say. That didn't just happen overnight. He didn't become a mama's boy overnight. So my thing is, is that you, you've been seeing the signs that he was, he could do some ish like this. Because a house is a big purchase. Mm -hmm. Like you just go buy your mama a house with y'all savings. Like I, I want to know the conversation that led up to it. But who are you? To take my savings, my half of it, to put it towards your mama. I got a mama too. So my thing is, is like. We want to make this fur? We do want to make this fur. Because you just did some tomfoolery and I ain't got no time for it. Yeah, that one right there. <laughs> that one right there. Was, I could see That's myself the at the... I was just going to say, yeah. I could definitely see myself at the divorce doors. And I would hate to say that, but at the same time, if you can do some mess like that, mm -hmm. you already done clocked out uh, from our future. Because that money was our future, regardless of what it was for. We wouldn't be saving it if we... Because it, I... And you, like, you spoke a word because that's y'all future. Because yeah. the mama, you don't bought the house. And I'm just guessing that it's in her name or her kids. And when she leaves that house, that house is going to go to her children. She's not going to leave it to you. So, yeah. Like, even if y'all don't stay together, he still got something yeah. big out of the whole thing. He wrong for that. He's definitely wrong, wrong for that because that that's definitely warrants a conversation to like. Um, How we get here? Uh, okay. And the fact that he went biblical, like it was a little bit more, but he went all the way biblical on her girl. Trash <laughs> and like, nothing else to say. I'm supposed to leave. I'm the head of the house, girl. I was so tickled at reading that whole little that whole little paragraph. Girl, she's silly. 
Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't need to ask nobody about that. Uh-uh. I feel like I'm going to pray on a little bit. And then while I'm praying, I already know the answer. Definitely going to pray on it. But I bet you, I bet you, this probably was just the straw that broke the camel's back. Because that's bold. Even if you think about doing certain stuff in just a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you really think that stuff out. Because... That's the worst thing you can do is hurt somebody that you love feelings. And I don't care what you say. I feel like you done stole from me. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was going to say what happened. But, yeah, yeah, I feel like you done stole from me because now you done took my, my half of the savings. Like, what if I need to go get a, a car tomorrow? You know, what, like, what are you, you still? Down bad? Some, yeah. What if we were to lose our jobs? Cause it's COVID and this is recent stuff. This is recent stuff that's happening in this, in this climate. Like what? <laughs> what? You just went and bought your mama a house with y'all saving? And you ain't tell your wife, bro? Cause it's one thing right? if, she, if she knew and she was for it, you know, like. Oh, Lord. They must be Generation Z. Baby loves, how y'all feel about that? What would you do if your husband? I don't think these baby loves will have a husband. Hmm. Even vice versa for the women. For the men, like if your wife went and did some 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 mess like that. Girl. Because don't get it wrong. I love my mama. I love her. But that goes to show you a real woman sometimes too. Because my mama wouldn't dare. It ain't no way I would even know. Well, I would have been able to even purchase something that big without my husband's acknowledgement. She wouldn't even have went for it. Like, she would have had to have a sit down in the room with us just to make sure that everybody. Because that ain't just something you do. Buy houses, folks. And and no offense, mama done probably already had a house. Okay. You feel me? If she didn't, then I just don't feel like you're supposed to take y'all savings. Now, if you had it mm-hmm. to where, okay, well, we can do what we want to do. And then we agree together, like, okay, we got a little money. Let's put mm-hmm. our parents in something. I, I would never be able to trust you again. Like, never. Not with finances, for not, sure. Not with it at all. You're selfish. Like, you didn't even think, like, at the end of the day, if it comes down to it, I always know that I'm not number one. And some men might not be able to understand, like, yes, your wife is supposed to be number one. God, wife, family. God, wife, family. And even if we want to break it down a little bit more, God, wife, children, outside family. Like, let, let, and we do. I feel like we as, in the black community, we have an issue with that whole dynamic. Same. Yeah. You no, know, and like I tell you, I thank God I've always gotten along with my in-laws. Like, so I've never, ex- like, I've never experienced. Oh, yeah, you do have a real Yeah, issue. I, I never experienced it. But just to think of it, it's so much betrayal. Like, because mm-hmm. you right. That's, that's, the, hierarchy. That's, the, that's the hierarchy right there. Mm-hmm. And if you ain't getting it, brother man or sister woman. It Y'all don't issues. supposed to be married because that is one of those tough ones. That is a tough one. It is. I'm sorry. Especially if you tight with your family mm-hmm. like you are. It, it is hard for some people to understand. Like, you yeah. got to kind of break away. Especially if you got a family that's selfish. Oh. That won't allow you to, you know, have your family. That, see, that's baby, the thing. Miss Kitty, I ain't never cared about in laws like that. Family. Never. And I have always my in laws be my in laws after. You see, stuff. that's good mm-hmm. though. But my mindset has always been like biblically, like it's not about no. the family that you came from. It's about mm-hmm. the one you creating. And if that y'all, anytime you see people when they be so close to their in laws, and then they break up, and then they in laws be them did some some whole shit like the whole time help help whichever whether it was the woman or the man do some whole shit that's why I don't get close to them in-laws baby I'm, no, I'm mm-hmm. so glad that I ain't met an in-law like it cause uh-uh. the in-laws I have with the type to call me and did you know that uh 
Uh, yeah, I was over there the other day. Did he tell you that he talked to her? Okay, that you is my plan. I didn't even believe like, what? They love me. They, they, they do. And they but. might know that I just don't care. <laughs> you know, my little your son. So yeah. your grandson, your son, your brother, your uncle, whatever he is, he but I love him, take care of him, that's all mm-hmm. you need to worry about. And I think it might be because I love I love family too. You know, we really have a big one, so I love seeing people get together with they. You know, and I do too. I just can't wait till it's. Mm-hmm. I guess it's the one I created. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. How y'all feel about family, y'all? We haven't finally got a nice little conversation. We finally yet. got one in. I'm for a nice family meal. Mm-hmm. Somebody might him. say we talk too much, but who cares? There's so many other channels. <laughs> they should just be trying to be like, we go on. Uh, I just like, we ain't gonna talk all the time. We talk sometime. You know, we just go with the vibe. <laughs> but I promise y'all don't want to leave us. <laughs> we don't talk all the time, yeah. And we getting better. Ooh, y'all see the new setup, okay? We ain't even talk about it, but it's okay. Y'all see so, it. <laughs> y'all see us. We up off the flow. Yes. <laughs> and the light is bussing. The mm-hmm. food, right? We gonna get the food where it's propped up and y'all mm-hmm. can see it. We gotta, we gotta work on it. It's our first night. day at, at the office. Yeah, in the new office. But yes, yes. His, uh, his kitty, I really enjoyed this. For real, this was a good kiddo. Y'all, I ate everything Ooh. off my plate. And that was just right. It was. It, it was, was like just right. Just right. I feel, yeah. I feel good. So thank you for that keto meal in Ketober. Guys, baby loves, y'all gotta try this. Let us know what you think because sis did that for real. I'm trying to give y'all something different. I like that because I wasn't even expecting it today and I'm I am happy. I can't <laughs> wait to eat another plate later tonight. Mm-hmm. But yeah. So, I mean, guys, if y'all like this video, please do not forget to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you're updated when we update you. So, sis, are we out? Peace.